Hello and welcome to a special, uh, oh yes, hello Lily, uh, a special, uh, you know, double episode. There's, uh, today there's going to be this uh, uh, review of the back rooms and also the, the review of the horror add-on going on, going up at the same time, same day today. So yeah, let me take this off because it smushes me easy a bit and... Also, it'll just be easier to hear me without it on. So yeah, let's... Also, I can't have my headphones on with that on. I think, yes. Hello, Lily. It's like, I want to be in the video. I'm a Jacko dog. A Jacko puppy. Yes, you are. You Jacko puppy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Mwah. So yeah, let's go to low scene and let's hop, let's jump right into this. Oh, I should also put my glasses on. Where are they? There they are. Yeah. <laughs> Infinite worlds, endless possibilities. Insert uh, endless possibilities from the Sonic. So, so boop. Snoot. Uh, boop the snoot. Uh, boop the snoot. Oh, you really like, you really want some attention to this morning, don't you? She's like, yes, I do, Daddy. I want all the attention. Watch my news. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, hello. Hold on. Why can I not hear anything? Mix. I'll put headphones. Hmm. Oh, let me try turning my headphones off and on again. Because some... I don't know why, I just can't hear anything. Should be able to hear the game. There we go, now I can hear. So who are you, Mr. Faceless Man? Frank Facelink. Facelink. So he'll trade almonds for corruption fragments. Corruption fragments for almonds. Uh, get back here, you. I want to see your trades. Emeralds. So for almond water and static. Smiler trophy for fake donut cake. Cake made using suspicious ingredients. Uh, power. Pa Get back. Stop wa walking away from me. Power to your goal to trophy for fake cherry donut cake. God. Damn yeah, I mean, you're making it difficult to show off, show you off. Uh, are they actually cherries? And you got Stomper Trophy for 10 fake ice. Wait, right, hold. Stop it. Uh, fake ice cake. More suspicious ingredients were required for this cake. The Skin Stealer Trophy for 10 fake chocolate cakes. I don't need to think that's actually chocolate. And a stick for the back rooms add-on tutorial book. You lost this book, didn't you? Now, I got it right here. Oh God, damn! Why does every add-on use one of these books now? I guess it's because they can put like these cool like stuff in it, but it just makes it a bit difficult to read. Right. Uh, backrooms has uh, no clips into your world. The backroom must add uh, 200 plus blocks, items and boss fights into your world. Corrupt your world, summon entity bosses, uh, no clip backrooms blocks uh, into your world. Wheel of the backroom swords, tame companions. Corruptors. Place down corruptors in your world. The interactors start corrupting the world around it uh, into the back rooms. Punch them to restore the world uh, back to its original state. 
to remove corruptors with the remove corruptors with the uh, corruption tool. Uh, so how to do craft? Hold on, in move zero. Go into here. It's on also corrupt. So yeah, you have these different corruptors, and it's obsidian. Static and the end wall dark. Lobby wall stripes. So it's these different blocks. I don't know how you get these different blocks. And then you have the corruption removal tool, which is that. So let's go into game mode one and let's, I'll show off each one of these. Game mode one. So. I'll grab all of these. So let's go up here and we'll do it up here, I guess. Or uh, over here will be good. Please do it. Uh, it puts it back in my inventory when I go too far away, meaning I lose my the page I'm on if I go too far away to show something off. Great. I really don't like these books. Ah, oh, there's a shulk here from one of the previous add-ons. Ow. Oh, no, I didn't want to throw that. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Go on that way. So, yeah, I got that. Man, this takes a while. So, it just appears to be like spreading these. Uh, blocks and carpet plain. Can stop it. If you punch it, it turns everything back to normal. So this is a bit. They're a bit boring. So basically, just like spread some of these blocks. And you just like use it to get more of those blocks of gas. I mean, if you like these blocks, then I guess uh, it's kind of cool. Maybe you can use the actual thing itself as decoration in the base or something. I don't know. But it just takes so long to spread. Then you remove it with that. How do you remove it? Oh, warning by removing the cutter, you will not be able to restore any cutter box. Proceed. Submit. So yeah, and then you get it back. So you just shift it and click. So I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna show them all off. So they all basically just like be the same thing. They'll just spread a bunch of the uh, blocks, some blocks. Also, where did I get almonds from? And corrupted fragments. Yeah. I mean. And like I said, if you like the blocks, then it's kind of cool, but it's just so slow. And you know, you basically just be waiting forever, and then you just like mine it up, replace it, uh, and then I like, place down some stone to come over here, and it's just very slow to get blocks on them, would be. It would be so. 
Yeah. Oh, I know. <sighs> right, so then there's the no clip block portal. No clip block portal will uh, generate it a back room blocks. Uh, power them with corruption fragments. These are dropped from all mobs. Remove the portal using the corruption tool. Remove almonds are dropped from the from all mobs. Oh, so that's what yeah. So no clip portals. Also, I'll take it all these because I took the other one out. No. Oh, what have happened? Oh. There we go, no clip at all. So you place it down. And you just chuck corrupted fragments into it. No. Right click. Yeah, you right click. And. Ah, yeah, so you have to spam it till the bar gets full. And then the bar, the bar is full, so it should be doing something. Hold on. Oh, why the book disappears because there's a pain in my butt. We'll generate back room blocks. How do we record to fragments? Yeah, how do we record to fragments? I so may. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Yeah, you can just choose which blocks you want. Uh, so, you got the lobby, portal room, pink dream, and it's a le level one. Yeah, and it's just like a bunch of different uh, themes from the, uh, you know, blocks on these, different blocks from these themes. I'm not going to go too much into that, you can mess around with that if you want. So yeah, and it's just like up to fragments around the static block, and you get the static block from this guy. And for an emerald, you get five of them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Better than uh, waiting for the other things to corrupt blocks. Then you have the Smiler, the most common. Back from the entity, summon the tentacles to defeat their foes. Place down corrupted almond water to summon the Smiler boss. So it's almond water around the corruption thing. Smiler sword ability, summon the powerful tentacles that damage mobs. So let's get the corrupted. Well, uh, almond. So you got the almond water and corrupted almond water. Let's go into game mode zero and summon them in. Game mode zero. Oh, god damn it, this with the book. I forgot to put my shield back on. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, this is easy. Oh, no! Oh, I accidentally waxed him with that sword, but yeah. Not a super difficult boss fight. So you drops a quarter essence. Uh, uh, trophies. And the reason why he dropped so many is because I killed him with the Manulian Cleaver, which has plundering, which is basically a second, another layer of looting. So yeah, they drop a bunch of stuff. And a bunch of the Smiler tentacles. And then if I just... And then if I give at P stick, I can make the Smiler sword, which does, oh, that's a bit bad, five attack damage. So let's uh, some linear. I didn't put the one. What? Well, let me delete the one for some reason. Vindicator. Oh, he's going after me. 
Oh, right, no, that was my tentacle thing, I think. Oh. But yeah. Did a fair bit of damage with the tentacle. So I guess it's fine, there's only 5 attack damage. But the problem is that he doesn't go for the tentacle, it just keeps going for me, so he just runs out of the tentacle's range. It'd be nice if, if, like, he, if he would like target the tentacle, so then the tentacle could keep him within that range, you know, its attack range. Uh, let's see if this can be enchanted. So, book. No, you can't enchant it. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, stay in game with one. Uh, but real quick, I'm just gonna go to him and get. I was going to stuck him. So yeah, on to the next one, I guess. Tentacle corruption on co oh my, yeah, it's because I'm all in that. Next up is a party goer. Usually found at a crashing gay party. Makes a cake out of his enemy's remains. Place down corrupted balloon to summon the uh, party, the party goer boss. So it's free of the uh, smiler tentacles, uh, string and an iron ingot. Uh, you can make the party goer a sword. It levitates mobs into the sky. So uh, let's get the balloon. Party Goer Balloon. Place it down to... what? Oh, I'm also going to take that off my hotbar. Oh, Corrupted Balloon. Whoops, wrong balloon. Corrupted Balloon. I'm going to go over here, away from him. What oh, I... Oh, wait, I wasn't... I forgot to press W, it, ca it helps if you press forward. So now I just gotta wait and heal for a bit. Uh, one. Burns. Gotta be careful of the balloons. I don't think I can just... yeah. There you go, he dropped the... is a trophy. And he dropped a couple of party balloons. And a couple of flesh. Yay. Uh. Oh, I accidentally placed down too. God damn it, man, I need to read the book! I say, so yeah, if I just. I'm gonna give myself a stack of sticks. And then I can make the party go balloon, it does 6 attack damage. So, let me heal. And summon in Vinny. Oh, my shield broke. Yeah, not the worst sword ever. Uh, 
Uh, so I need a new shield, so let's go to Game Raid 1. It is a cool looking sword though. I'll give it this, they are really going to like does that, making like creepy looking swords. Uh, can, oh, also, I want to see, can you eat this? I doubt it. I think these are just like purely decoration. Uh, boom. I also got this one. Let me run around and uh, get my hunger down. Come on, why am I not hungry? E F F E C T at P hung hunger ten ten. Come on, why? Two, five, five. There we go. Yeah, now you can't eat them. I think that is a limitation on the, the add-on developers that they can't like make cake cakes, like real cakes, I think. Because for some reason Mojang put that limitation on them, and I don't know why, Mojang puts weird limitations on the add-on developers sometimes. Oh, you can go back just by pressing that. Okay. Next up is the Stomper. Found stomping in the uh, pink uh, dream. So summon, uh, uh, summons tornadoes of uh, bones at their enemies. Place down the corrupted Stomper bones uh, to summon the Stomper boss. So it's bones, party flash, three diamonds. And you can use that to make a sword to summon bone nados. So uh, let me just go to game mode 1. No, oh, I am in game mode 1. Anyway. Uh, core up. Up. There's the corrupted stomp of bones. Let's go over here. And summon him in. Ah, yep. Well, that was easy. He dropped a pink bow, stomper trophy, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah, no, that right there, stomper bones. And you can use a stump of bones to make a sword. Seven attack damage, that's as much as a regular diamond sword. So let's summon Vinny in. Oh, yeah, the bone tornado actually does uh, make him attack it, that's good. So this is the best one so far because he actually gets distracted by it and you can attack him while he's distracted by it. Or you could just wait for it to do some damage or you could, you could run away or just like, just finish him off. Doesn't appear to do much damage there because he died in 3 hits which if this is 7 attack damage then he has 20 health says. 7... 
14. I don't know, he must have more than 20 health then, because I did... I don't know, it doesn't do damage then, because, yeah, no. Because then I would have done uh, 21 damage to him. So that means the bone tornado doesn't do damage? I guess the eye of the eye just does very, very little damage, which isn't very good, at, like, at all. Uh, that's, that's disappointing. Uh, next up is the Skin Stealer. Place down zombie leg to summon the Skin Stealer boss. So it's rotten flesh. Uh, one of them for the stomp bones, stomp of bones, free Asian to, uh, scraps. Uh, skin Stealer Sword Ability Tentacles and Knockback Mobs. So give at P Zombie Leg. And we'll go over here. And I'm going to summon him in. I'm really just zero IQing this guy and getting away with it. I don't think he can swim. I need to breathe. Ah, oh, that's gonna keep me from getting in. There we go. Just give him a little bit of a stab. There we go. And then we can make his sword. Uh, skin steal a sword. Let's get Vinny in here so we can test it out on him. Oh, well, there goes my shield. Okay, so, yeah. So, one, two, oh. So yeah, that did do damage to it. Oh no, it's just... It does 10 attack damage, which is good, but I guess the tentacles... Uh, they either did no damage or less than 9 damage? I don't know. We had to heal. But yeah, that's actually a pretty good sword, despite the effect. Just whack him a couple times. It's getting too short, most. Well, so I think critical hits do 1.5 times damage, so I don't over there it's two times. Oh, let's me let me test this. Is it 1.5 or two times? Now, where is he? There he is. Yeah, it's 1.5 times damage. So critical hit him on the first hit. To and he didn't die, so that means it's only what uh it's like one point five times damage, so uh, you can you're always two shotting no matter what. Uh there's the hound pet, a fluffy pupper by day, a monstrous hound and oh that's this guy over there. Dog biscuits are used to tame the hound. Summons your very own hound pet by creating a 
So you can take it down and then in a couple of weeks we think you can make the biscuits. You can use biscuits and red wool to make a bowl or is that complete? I don't know. So if I just give myself the uh, the dog biscuits. Give at P dog biscuit sixty four. I go here and I go dog oh what. Where is it? Well, according to this, you can't craft it. At least I just don't see it here. Give out P red. Whoa. Let's let's try wool. So it's three, four, five. No, let's try concrete then. Five red concrete. No, nope, still can't craft it so. How many can I craft it? I guess they forgot to add the recipe for it. So we put the dog bowl down, it summons them in, and you can tame him. If I set, time set. It transforms into a dog. Normal doggo. Let's say back to midnight for the rest of the review. Mid midnight. Boom. Alright, on to the next thing. Wait, so can I tame his? Yeah, I can. There's Kitty Pet, a uh, the Stompers eternal foe protects the pink dreams. Kitty has uh, been known to show up to help fight the Stomper. Kitty is a friendly but shy backrooms entity. The sworn enemy is the Stomper. Kitty can be tamed using a pink bow, which you can craft with two pink wool and the Corruption Essence, but I got a pink bow off the Stomper. So I guess I just have to... Uh, Summon the Stomper a bunch until we get it, so... Uh, so, uh, place them. Corrupted Stomper Bones. Give... LP Corrupt. I'm just going to go to Game Mode 1. Get this one. Go up to stump up. Oh, and they only stack up to one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to summon him in and then instantly kill him with the mining cleaver until. Oh, she summoned in. She spawned in this time. So let me just dab him up with this. Yeah, and then she sticks around after the fight, so... Hey, come here. Oh, there we go. Now I've got a friend. Yay. New friend. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh. 
Yucky. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, and that's the end. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I didn't show off like all the new blocks. Uh, well, there's not really much. I just feel like go over here. Oh, lobby wall, stripes. Wait for it to generate them. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, that would just be a waste of all of our time. So, oh, he's, it keeps on generating. Stop. Uh, I don't know why I stopped. I didn't really need to stop. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, add-on review. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool add-on. Not really that scary, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy. Hope to see you guys in the next uh, video. And have a... Uh, hope you all have a wonderful Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!